Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Also partnered with the Indiana High School Athletic Association. Hi, and welcome inside the State Champs Network Studios for the very first State Champs Indiana High School Sports Show on Fox Sports Midwest. We are presented by Lawrence Technological University. I'm Lauren Plant. Get ready as we bring you the best in Indiana high school sports all school year long, including a special main event this week featuring the Ben Davis and Avon football game. Hey guys, I'm Kiara Hay, and you are about to witness a whole new high school sports experience. While we love football, we believe in covering all sports. Over the course of the next 30 minutes, you'll see action from this week in girls volleyball, boys and girls soccer, as well as football. That's right. Speaking of volleyball, we go in focus on Riverton Park's Mackenzie Sherman and 24-7 Sports' Alan True. We'll get you the latest news in football recruiting here in Indiana. Let's get started as we head around the state with the first of seven highlights in football. We begin in Westfield, the Shamrocks welcoming in the Decatur Central Hawks. Fresh off knocking off Franklin Central in the opener 14 zip, Decatur Central got it going in the first. Senior quarterback Parker Harrington finding Jason Allen Jr. He'll do the rest. Hawks had a 7-3 lead. Westfield, also week one winners, scoring all of their 28 points in the first half over Harrison. Camden Simons over to Eli Pachin who dives for the pylon successfully. 10-7 Shamrocks in the second. But the Hawks would score twice more before the end of the half, including Harrington to Kenny Tracy. The junior finds his way into the end zone. Then the Decatur Central defense make it a big play. Allen Jr. steps in front of the Simons pass, and this will be a pick six. Hawks led 21-13 at the break. Westfield came back to tie the game at 21 before Decatur provided the dagger. This is Tracy again, slicing and dicing his way to Pater. Hawks beat Westfield 35 to 21 the final. I'm Kevin Trozinski and let's get this started. The North Central Panthers hit the road and visited the Royals of Hamilton Southeastern. Jump ahead to the second quarter, game tied at seven. This is Trayvon Elliott with the rush, and he would take it into the end zone from 15 yards out. Panthers up 14 to seven going into halftime. Now, in the third, Hamilton Southeastern trying to make something happen to begin the comeback. Matt Harris from one yard out, and he punches it in for six, but the PAT would miss, and North Central now up by a single point. The Panthers look to pad their lead. This time, senior quarterback Liam Thompson hooks up with Elliott, he turns on the Jets and he is gone. That's an 83 yard reception for a touchdown. North Central extends their lead 21 to 13. Still in the third, another Panther touchdown as Thompson connects with Alex Tarver on the four yard reception for six. North Central now leads 28 to 13. The Royals would try to get another score. Junior quarterback Cody Sparks airs it out, but it's intercepted by sophomore Deshaun Hunter that would seal the deal for North Central as the Panthers beat Hamilton Southeastern 31 to 13, the final. We love, we love football, 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 every day, every, day, every, day, every, every night, night, all right. We love, we love you hit, every day, every day, every day, every night, all right. All right. We love, we love offense, offense, we love, we love defense, defense, football, 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 football,
and the ball quickly thrown around like a hot potato until Riverton Park slows it down. Senior Cameron Clapp with the setup to fellow senior Mackenzie Sherman. There's the spike that finds the open floor for the point. We'll be seeing more of Sherman later on in the show. The Panthers take the first two sets. Shackamack looking to stay alive. Game point for the Lakers in the third set. It was a great volley going until Laker junior Hallie Brunson is there with some power behind that one that goes for the point. Shackamack takes the third set. The Panthers on the verge of the W and they get the setup going. Junior Katrina Cruiser with the laser shot that goes right into your living room as Riverton Park defeats Shackamack in this matchup three sets to one. It turned into a hot day for some girls soccer as we head northeast to Muncie Central High School where the visiting Yorktown Tigers challenge the hosting Bearcats. We kick things off in the second. Yorktown in white, up two goals, putting an anvil of pressure on Muncie Central's defense. The pass, Tigers, Lee Alexander with the strike, but hey, no go this time. A save by Muncie Central keeper, Riley Stafford, and she would hold the score at two to nothing. Yorktown would not let up, however. Lee Alexander again with the ball, pushing up. This time, puts it top shelf. Yorktown goes up another score. The Tigers this time with a corner kick and hoping to close it out. Chloe Mariotti punches her ticket to flight. This one sailing in the net, bringing Yorktown Tigers on top of this one. 4-0 the final. Hope you're enjoying State Champs. A ton more highlights ahead. You know, several years ago, and for the first time in decades, Lawrence Technological University in Southfield, Michigan dived back into NAIA competitive athletics in a big way. With 23 sports offered up currently, there are great opportunities for you to continue your athletic career at the next level and get a phenomenal education at the same time. Lawrence Technological University was first founded in 1932, and today the university sits on 105 acres in Southfield, Michigan. With over 5,000 students and over 400 full and part-time faculty, LTU is one of the largest independent colleges in the state, offering over 100 degree programs across four colleges. Sports at LTU were huge in the 40s and 50s, with basketball being one of the top teams in the nation. But athletics soon went away and didn't return until 2011. Seven years later, there are 23 D2 level scholarship men and women's sports offered at LTU, with most competing in the NAIA. We caught up with Lawrence Tech's athletic director to discuss the evolution of Blue Devil Sports and what the future has in store. Look back at the last eight years and I'm just amazed at how fast we've grown. You know, we started with five club teams back then and, you know, if I was to guess, I would thought we'd been at 16, 18 teams, but this year we're going to have 26 teams competing at a varsity level, so it's really grown very quickly. If you are interested in learning more about Lawrence Technological University, log on to ltu.edu. To follow Lawrence Tech Athletics and even to recruit yourself, go to ltuathletics.com. Don't let today be the only day you get your high school sports fix. Connect with us on social media and see the best highlights and feature stories every day of the week. Follow or like State Champs Indiana on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We want to hear from you, so tell us what teams we have to check out or what games we need to cover. And remember, we don't just cover football. We capture the entire high school experience. Don't go anywhere. We have more football highlights and a special recruit report when State Champs returns. I want to be a dermatologist, and though a lot of universities tried to recruit me for basketball, Lawrence Tech had the science curriculum that I wanted. LTU Southfield campus is a great place to learn, and the classes are small enough that I don't have to wait for office hours to talk to my professors. They're usually right by my side, challenging me and guiding me toward a successful future. Lawrence Tech. Possible is everything. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. I love working for Stryker. I'm genuinely excited to come to work every day. 
We support each other and look out for each other. I love Stryker because we are like a family. At Stryker, I own my career. There are so many different places Stryker can take me in the next five years. Together with our customers, we are driven to make healthcare better. Great people with a strong mission and values can accomplish great things together. Plant back with you, Zionsville at home in week two and matched up with Lebanon. Eagles looking to rebound from a loss to Pike last week. Let's just say they ate their Wheaties. Eagles senior QB Josh Wagner hooking up with his senior tight end, Joel DeCourcy, will not be denied the end zone. Last time these two got together, it was Lebanon 34-31 winners. Not the case in this one. Jordan Hull, the beneficiary here. Wagner threw for 188 yards and four touchdowns. Eagles take this one convincingly as they pick up win number one of the season, defeating Lebanon 56-6. Now, on to the IHSAA Champions Network Game of the Week, presented by Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. This game featured one of the most anticipated matchups in the state as the Dragons of New Palestine took on the Trojans of Center Grove. The Dragons came to play ball. Junior Max and Hook got the ball down to the two after New Pal went for it on fourth down on the previous play. And here, sophomore running back David Spiegel does the honors, getting the touchdown. The Dragons up early with the 7-0 lead. We jump to the second quarter. New Pal put up three via the field goal. But here comes Center Grove knocking on the door. Sophomore running back Carson Steele fights his way into the end zone. The missed extra point puts the Trojans down by four. Late in the second, the Dragons breathing fire in the red zone. Spiegel lowers his shoulder and keeps the feet pumping, and he gets it to go. New pal up 17 to six going into halftime. The Red Hot Dragons looking for some more. This time it's the senior quarterback, Zach Neely, on the keeper, and he goes in untouched. New Palestine now up 24 to nine but too much Dragons in this one. Neely, again, on the keeper, finds a hole, and he is gone. 26 yards on the rushing touchdown as New Palestine beats Center Grove 31 to nine, the final. This is Alan True from 24-7 Sports with this week's State Champs Recruit Report. The top recruit in the state of Indiana is George Karlaftis, a defensive end from West Lafayette. There's been a lot of talk about how solid his commitment is to Purdue as schools like Michigan have continued to try to recruit George. However, the last time we spoke to George, he said he is completely solid to the Boilermakers unless something happens at the head coaching position with Jeff Brom, and we expect George to keep his word. A 2020 recruit in the state that rose a lot over the summer is Cecina Memorial's David Baker, a two-way player who could be a wide receiver or a safety at the next level. Michigan was one of the recent schools to offer him. We expect him to visit the Wolverines unofficially this fall, along with Iowa, who was the first school to offer him. Indiana and Purdue have also jumped in. Speaking of Indiana and Purdue, those two schools continue to battle for one of the top uncommitted seniors in the state, Merrillville and Dre in 2019 linebacker Cameron Williams. Williams is expected to visit both schools this fall, although there are several schools that are expected to continue monitoring him this fall and may offer him, including Louisville, who we visited at the end of the summer. For this week's State Champs Recruit Report, I'm Alan True. Hey guys, once again, I'm Kiara Hay, and I hope you've been enjoying the show so far. I know you guys are still getting to know us, so I wanted to explain some things to you. We consider our studio our locker room, and all the jerseys you see are from actual high school sports teams. Well, we want you to get in on the action. So if you see a State Champs cameraman at one of your games, give him an extra jersey. Or you can email us at statechampsnetwork.com, and we'll make sure a producer gets to your school to pick one up. And we don't just want football, soccer, volleyball, and cross country. We want them all. Be sure to tune in every week to see if your uniform is displayed in our locker room. Next up, we go in focus on a three-sport athlete when State Champs returns. Back again. You know me. Pepperoni Asiago. Oh, he's so cute. What's his name? Pepperoni Asiago. <laughs> I just want to eat him up. Flavor fanatics love us because we invented flavored crust pizza with 100% real mozzarella cheese and fresh dough made daily. Now get meal deals for any budget. Hungry? Howie's! I don't think 
think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> my passion is architecture. I don't want to sit around passively studying. I need to create. In our architecture studios at Lawrence Tech, we collaborate with students, faculty, and professionals from around the world. And from day one, we design using the same industry standard software that architecture firms use. I really feel like I'm designing my own future here. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. Fanuc America is the number one supplier of robots, CNCs, and factory automation. Our certified automation training prepares students for high-tech careers in advanced manufacturing. Manufacturers use automation to maximize productivity. That's why high-paying careers in advanced automation are in demand today. Our CERT program provides manufacturers and educators a STEM-based curriculum centered on robotics and automation training. Contact Fanuc to learn more about our certified automation training programs. The ongoing debate in high school athletics is whether to specialize or to be a multi-sport athlete. This week we go in focus on a three-sport athlete who's killing it in and off the court. <laughs> Mackenzie Sherman is entering her senior year at Riverton Park and she's already an all-region athlete in basketball, softball, and volleyball. I like playing three sports because I like the like difference between all of them. Volleyball, it really helps me with my agility to be able to move quickly throughout the field. Uh, basketball also helps with that. Gets me in really good shape before I start softball season, so I'm already ahead of the girls when I get there. Being a multi-sport athlete helped Mackenzie become a six rotation utility type player for her volleyball team. Last year, she closed her second year as a starter with 211 digs, 109 kills, 54 blocks, and 69 service aces. I'm still a utility player, but I think my serves definitely help the team the most. She's smart enough that she can, you know, read the floor, you know, pick out the seams and pick out the weaker players, and she can adjust her serves, you know, long, short. When you go up to hit, you always have a blocker, but serving, you just get to look at the floor, see where the gaps are, and usually serve for the holes. Mackenzie carries a 3.8 GPA and is active in her community. This is her second year as captain of the volleyball team, and she takes pride in her leadership role. I think I've worked pretty hard to make myself like a really good leader. We have a cabin that's about a mile away, and she's even suggested that, hey, she got the girls running to the cabin and back, you know, for the conditioning. And, and her and my setter, they're kind of more the leaders in the team, and I think they're doing an excellent job with that. The Panthers have a fairly new team this season and are currently 2-1. But with Mackenzie's serves, anything is possible. On Focus, I'm Kiara Hay. Let's get back to the highlights here on State Champs! <laughs> Lauren, back with you for this Circle City Conference boys soccer matchup. The Braves of Brebuff Jesuit Prep hitting the road to visit the Trojans of Bishop Chatard. We pick this up first half. Braves already up 1-0. Ball finds the junior forward Alec Bevelheimer streaking to the net. Little chip shot to the far side is good. Breeb up, up to zip early in the first half. Braves still on the attack. Junior midfielder Joey Smith keeps the ball moving. Dish to Bevelheimer, but Trojan sophomore keep Clay Fox with the nice save. Bishop Chatard still down a pair. Second half, and the Trojans down four. Sophomore William Johnson with the throw-in. Braves can't clear. The sophomore David Harless punches it in with his left, but not enough. Brebuff, Jesuit defeats Bishop Chatard, 5-2 to two the final. Let's keep the soccer highlights going with a matchup between Center Grove and Carmel. It was the night of rivals. Center Grove Trojan visited the Greyhounds at Murray Stadium, Carmel High. The Trojans line up for the corner kick, and it's denied by senior Carmel keep, Brody Sullivan. He would step up all night long on defense. Second half of the game had a 0-0 start, but later in the action, the Trojans with possession. Jack Neal over to Luke Boa, 
then off the foot of Nick Shirer. Center Grove scores and would score the only goal of the game and the only one needed for a 1-0 Center Grove final. Now it's time for some volleyball. Zionville's Eagles versus the Tigers from Fisher. Tigers with the serve up, Eagles respond, setting up sophomore Sydney Aguri with the kill. Eagles gaining some ground early. Some great volley action from both teams. Fisher set up the wall to avoid the Eagles attack, a wall by Cameron Hayworth and senior Haley Soper. Fisher's big in the first set. In the third set, the Tigers would claim the first two. Eagles with the serve, Jada Allen with the big spike in this one, and the Tigers of Fisher get the clean sweep over Zionsville in this one. Hi, I'm Lou Batanti, and president of Yellow Flag Productions and producer of the Emmy Award-winning television show State Champs Sports Network. State Champs as an organization is driven by a clear mission. And that mission is to create a weekly TV show and multimedia platforms that highlight the best of high school athletics. We will cover all sports, both boys and girls competitions, throughout their entire sports seasons. Our goal is to cover as many games as possible during any given week within a half hour broadcast. We are a dedicated team of professionals in video, editing, journalism, and social media. Our intent is to always portray the positive aspects that high school sports give to a student athlete and the communities that support them. Parents, coaches, athletic directors, referees, and sponsors. In the past 15 years, we have produced over 500 episodes of high school competitions throughout the state of Michigan and have won numerous Emmy Awards for our endeavors. We are excited to bring our alliance with our title sponsor, Lawrence Technological University, and their 23 sports to Indiana, and our extended relationship with Fox Sports Midwest and the Indiana High School Athletic Association. Visit our website, statechampsnetwork.com, and link to the Indiana State Champ Show at any time. We'd love to hear from you about stories, profiles, folks that impact Indiana sports. Hope you enjoy the next 34 weeks of State Champs Indiana. Welcome and thank you. Here in Detroit, it's time. Time to show the world what we've got. Because right now, it's innovation time, dinner time, and time to experience Detroit for yourself. Time to taste it, hear it, feel it, witness it, and believe it. This is Detroit, and we're here to tell you, it's go time. Since the dawn of man, storytelling has been the most effective and engaging means of communication. Whether gathered around the warm glow of a fireplace or the family television set, a compelling story has always moved people to action. At Yellow Flag Productions, the Emmy-winning storytellers behind our television programs are now helping clients create content that emphasizes their people and passions. Let us tell your story and share it with the world. I want a career in robotics and automation, so I chose Lawrence Tech for its first in Michigan robotics engineering program. LTU's brand new STEM complex has a robotics lab where we can design, build, and program robots in a creative atmosphere. And the best thing is, I haven't graduated yet, but I already have a job in my field. I know I made the right choice for my career. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. Welcome back to State Champs, Indiana's new home for high school sports. In 2017, the Avon football team reached the 6A semi-state for the second time in three years. Unfortunately for the Orioles, unbeaten Ben Davis came in and crushed any dreams of a state title 57 to 20. It's a new year, and wouldn't you know, Avon gets a chance for revenge in week two. We're looking forward to this one. The Orioles and the Giants are this week's main event. The Avon dance team getting the crowd ready for what was to be an instant classic. Week two matchups don't get any bigger than the defending 6A state champs Ben Davis taking on fifth ranked Avon. These two met a year ago at this time and it was Ben Davis by 32. 
Orioles put 44 points on Plainfield a week ago and following a trick play, tone-setting TD, Avon found the end zone again. The Ohio State-bound Samson James ran for two scores and 178 yards on the night. However, Ben Davis able to keep within striking distance thanks to two quarterback keepers by Delbert Mims III. The Vanderbilt commit brought the Giants within seven. Would this be the momentum shift? They're not doing anything to hurt us. We're hurting ourselves right now. You got me? Big wake up call and the kids responded. Check this out. Oriole quarterback Henry Hessen with the BB to the back of the end zone. Check Cohen Murrell looking like Odell Beckham. Avon led 28-17 at the break. Fourth quarter now, Avon nursing just a four point lead, but Hessen gonna place this one perfectly into the arms of Jalen Peterson. The Ben Davis defender can't wrap up. Peterson is gone. Big 47 yard touchdown, Orioles up 11. But the Giants were able to get back within single digits. Here, backed up deep in their own territory. Not sure who the junior Trent Gibson was aiming for, but it's picked off by Caden Hubner easiest six he'll ever get. We are still in the fourth, and believe it, Ben Davis' ensuing drive hits Pater. Gibson connecting with his wideout Dominic Day, nothing but daylight. His second long touchdown of the night, it was 41-36 Avon with 90 seconds remaining. Giants recovered the onside kick, 12 seconds left, fourth down, catch is made, but not enough for the first down. That's all she wrote. Just a 1-7 record versus the Giants over the past four years. Avon beats Ben Davis in an amazing contest, 41-36 to the final. It feels great. It feels amazing. I'm so proud of everybody. I'm so proud of my teammates, my coaches, everybody who believed in me and my team, and it, it feels great. Well, we hope you enjoy the inaugural edition of State Champs. We are thrilled to be in the Hoosier State. We are, and as always, we like to say goodbye with some sights and sounds. This week will end with a little spirit. See you next week. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Also partnered with the Indiana High School Athletic Association.